Welcome back, everybody. And with the end of last session was the time that everybody saw the uh, infamous uh, Lord of Hunger as he invaded New Mundric. You guys were able to combat the, uh, the, the, the Vipers off of the west side of town as you guys migrated afterwards as their numbers began to diminish and Silas ran away into the forest to the east side where the Rattlings had burrowed and found their way inside of town and were beginning to kill some of the uh, a lot of the the soldiers here. You've seen that a lot of... Yeah, yeah. Right. So from here, uh, the soldiers on your side decided to run over and go aid in the fight, not before the Lord of Hunger came through the underground and began to wreak havoc. It seemed like it was going to be a really tough fight before somebody came out from behind the church and started firing, firing magical weapons and guns into the Lord of Hunger, making him scurry away back into the underground. You guys began to clean up uh, the rest of the Rattlings before they began to flee into the underground as well, and you guys were left with all of the carnage. It is here that uh, you guys pursued the Foxling that was in the hood. Uh, to the outside of town as you guys began to pursue and question her and you found out that her name was Scarlet Hayes and she asked to speak with only um, Mixo who like announced himself as Sir Nicholas and she asked to speak with him one on one outside of town you guys had this conversation away from the city walls as you began to press questions about what she was, uh, like, who who he, he was and what they were, to really only answer one question, where she kept asking why you would talk about the old, like, the, the guards. Why did you call them the Queen's guards? When she put her hand on his shoulder, began to fade into, like, a misty blackness and told me, um, Sir Nicholas, that he was not just a guardsman, he was part of the Archangels. And it is here on the outside of town, on the outskirts of the city, that you guys are... Um, some of you said you were looting, looting bodies, and I said that there was like spears and bow and arrows and stuff like that. So you guys were finishing looting. They didn't bring too much else with them except for basic weaponry, and uh, you guys were left on the outside of town. I did say about two-thirds of the people, or the, the guardsmen, did die in the combat. That's what I had figured out. So two-thirds towards a dice roll. Did you guys say that's a 14 or higher? It's two-thirds? Yeah. Uh, yeah, more or less, yeah. Will, roll me a d20. A luck roll, no modifier. 14 out. Okay. D20, 14 out. God damn it. Three, it was almost a 16. Someone will thank you for that. Okay. You will. <laughs> and no one else. So you guys are here on the outskirts of town. And Mikso, you just got this information before um, this person that you had met, the Foxling, which... Evan had seen a few times here and there and not quite understood what was going on with this person. Scarlet Haze diminishes into a shroud of darkness. As you can see, like her dark patches begin to fade off 60 feet away, 60 feet away, 60 feet away, off into the into the forest. Very like nightcrawler. Uh, I, I'm just staring at her going, Well, have a good night, I guess. Some theory <laughs> shit on me. Evan, did you hear that shit? No. I wasn't allowed to be part of the conversation. Oh, which well, was upsetting. it is. And I'm a boat angel. A boat <laughs> angel? What is a boat angel? Well, she said it was an archangel, but she spelled it with a K, so... Oh, gotcha. Yeah, I don't think she knew what she was talking about, though. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking kill you guys. <laughs> I, I, uh, 
I think we should check on the church. Um, well, I'm not gonna lie, guys. That was pretty messed up. I I knew the Lord of Hunger was gonna be uh, <laughs> a foe, but that thing was taller than the church. I will say this though, I did record a hell of an excellent amount of combat data. I can just crunch some numbers. I'm gonna be extra effective tomorrow, guarantee it. I'll think it over though. But yeah, I digress. I probably should should actually worry about these people that uh, may not have made it. Let's go. Um, my money says the eighth painting. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, probably, maybe. Oh, Let's find out. This area, but everyone was as fascinated over like scribblings of a madman. Then we head to the church. Mm-hmm. Just be like it. Okay, as you guys go through the city walls again, you can see that many of the, the, the soldiers that have lived um, this grand fight, the invasion, on their city here you can see that many of them are starting to gather some of the people up and uh, the ones that have died the people who have fallen to protect the nation protect the city here protect the walls and protect the people and protect the church as a lot of the people are being turned on to their like turned on to their front so like uh, people can't see exactly who has fallen at this moment and they're going through them all you see that cassandra is going through as well ensuring that some of the people like that her soldiers are holding it together that they're not like falling apart emotionally and with the dice roll i need mixo to give me a perception check oh boy I was about to ask if anything happened to uh, his one and only son. That would be a 12. You can see that Cassandra goes over to a strucken down, very young man who's dead oh. in the battlefield. So, Nick is just watching her go over as the realization sets in that he might recognize this person. You can see that she begins to turn him over and straighten him up as well before ensuring that she moves on with a lot of the other... Um, combatants that have fallen looks like it was pretty rough around here it seems like the fighting was most fierce here yeah. these people and i'm going to i guess approach and see if i recognize the body you you would have seen it yeah, as you pull up, as you as you walk over the battlefield and go towards the one that you think that you saw, you can see that there is like the shaggy, darker hair. You can see that there's the crest, crested plate as he's face down at this time. Um, you can see that he wears the crest of the uh, the blazing sun, the sun, the sun keepers on his armored plate. But you can see that even through the back part of the plate. There is a lot of blood. But in this moment, you can see that also surrounding him is slain ratlings. I'm going to turn the body of the bisque over, like prop him up right against like a bench. Any any debris I can find. Okay. And uh, 
Nick's surface skin color just starts to change a little bit. Get go from the normal clammy blue to to a darker like purplish color. And then as he as he leans his son up against uh some some of this destroyed detritus, he's gonna take out two silver pieces and put one over each of the vis the visc's eyes. Okay, which have been settled and closed since uh, Cassandra's gone over to the body, but you can feel like the cold weight of no activity resisting against you moving the body. It's a, it's a very, He's very dead. weighted weighted feeling. Okay. I walk over and put my hand on the shoulder. Me so. Yeah, you you all knew this kid for uh one night and one morning. Right. It's like I'm just I'm not gonna say anything. Just put my hand on his shoulder. I don't wouldn't have any words that can help in a situation like this. You'd probably be cl be close enough to hear him muttering under his breath. This is all my fault. Could have sent him on his way. I'm staying here with these nutters. We all make our own choices. Strong enough to stop this. There's nothing you could have done differently. Don't blame yourself for the situation. And then, at a certain point, I'll just. Walk away. Is he wearing any like c ceremonial pieces, like like a necklace, prayer beads, something like that? Yeah, he can wear. He can be wearing like a little silver chain necklace with the the same little sunburst, um, like a little bit of an amulet around his uh, around his neck. I am going to take the Visk's amulet, um, and I'd like to use Acid Splash in a weird way. I want to etch the Visk's name on the back of it. Okay. Um... Do you have anything to write with that could also withstand acid? I have a dagger. That's good. Imagine if he just used his finger, like, he could do it. It's his body doing it. Yeah. Yeah, I like the, I like the idea with the dagger, though. Like, that has, like, a fine point where it's, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the rest of you are going to go to well then, okay. The rest of you are going to go to the church while um, Mixo stays here with the sun for a little while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys go to the center of town here, where you guys uh, find the large the large church, where only one side of the building had been rammed by the Lord of Hunger. There's only like a few crumbling parts to it. It doesn't look like it's severely damaged at all. But as you guys enter the building, you can see that there's the uh, the five priests here, all like within like a like a star pattern around the artifact. And uh, as you guys enter, they all turn towards you guys and hold their hands up into the air. Just we thank you for your assistance in fighting against the Lord of Hunger. Nothing got stolen. They did not enter the building. That's oh, all I, I really needed to know. That's a positive, I guess, on your end. Yeah. Is there was there any followers in the church? 
at the time of the attack? I mean, did anyone seek shelter in here and unfortunately was collapsed? Uh, yeah, there would have been quite a few people in here as well. Uh, a lot of the people would have gotten to their their homes and their shelter. But yeah, I'll say like there's a few small families that are within the building here. But uh, no, no parts of the interior of the building had to take um, or crumbling at all. It was just like some oh, okay. surface of him like body checking the building real quick. I just look at Todd as like, of course, of all things that they built strong as the church. <laughs> The uh, the weirdly pointless church, yeah. No, the church is not pointless. It's a hundred percent pointless. Then why did you help us? I didn't help you. I helped <laughs> the people of the freaking city. <laughs> Which is all of us. They all hold their hands up. Look, look. All oh, five of them. <laughs> I just look at Todd. Todd, don't don't argue with stupid. Okay. Fine. Fine, I guess. Listen, will you take all dead on a quest? No. Why would you take that kid on a quest? We, we don't even want him near you guys. No, are you taking him out on a quest? I'm taking him home. <laughs> From his understanding, his family passed away. I'm taking him to some kind of home. Away from you guys, you sick fucks. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk me is fun. We... And by fun, I mean angry. We heard... <laughs> <laughs> we had news about those who traveled out east that uh, maybe his parents are alive. Well, who told no, him they don't were lie dead? to me, motherfucker. No, no. Don't lie to me. I, I, I just hold Todd back a little bit. It's like, hold up. Who told <laughs> Who told uh, All Dead that his parents were dead then? He, he, there was an invasion to a farm uh, which he came from out to the east towards Briggsenburg. Okay. That doesn't answer the question. Yeah, I mean, like, literally, who said that his parents were dead? He was there when the invasion happened. Quite a few of who, the people were killed. Who said was, he said that it when he arrived? He did. He didn't believe that anybody survived when he ran. And why do you think his parents are alive? Because we've had people go by to Briggsenburg and see in the windows that some people exist. Who? Pe I'm from Briggsenburg. Of course, people exist. Not in Briggsenburg, a farm <laughs> town between Mundrick and Briggsenburg. Oh, well, we're heading that I mean, way. That goblin infested place. I was stabbed there. It didn't go too well. Yes, but inside <laughs> the farm. <laughs> inside. Yeah, <he> was assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> Point of reference. <laughs> Not like, oh, <laughs> that's a magical tree. Oh, yeah, I was stabbed there. <laughs> I was in a self driving wagon at the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I could go into more detail, but it get more confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm like really, really drunk, so I'm like having trouble following any of this right now. <laughs> All right, well, okay, then yes, let's. You know what? If that's the case, if there are still survivors there, we can drop that creepy kid off to him. Well, no, it's you. You've claimed it's infested, and so did. These, uh, so did the soldiers who came back. What you think his parents are alive? Wait, the possibility here. I'm the, so confused. The possibility of his children, if his parents being alive, is a slim one, but it hey, is I possible. Hey, I have a raw ass line. Can can <laughs> can I walk in at this moment? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna look at Evan and go gather the boy and let's go. I think these nutters have killed enough fathers' sons today. Let's go. Hold, hold, hold on. You know, I mean, so they're, they're saying that all dead parents might be in that town that I got stabbed by that nasty ass goblin that. It, yeah. The fucking it, what? Yeah, they're saying that the parents might be there. I mean, I thought these people were crazy to begin with, but now. I, I mean, maybe. There were people in those houses, but. 
Yeah. 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 You know, while we're at it, if we can find any armor for the lad, and like a little sword, a short sword, one for fighting in uh, small and enclosed space. Because you want a knife? I got like three knives. And and then maybe get him a suit of armor. Something that's, you know, flexible, but really, really protects his, his most... Uh, his squishy maybe, organs? Yes, most of his... Organs, you know he's six. I, I, I just look at Gromit and I'm like, Gromit, do you... Do you, you know, do you I killed that? my first goblin yep. when I was 11, so he's like close enough. I, we would Gromit, like to... Would, would you trust that kid with the dagger? Let's be honest. Not really, but... I, I... You wouldn't happen to have any halfling armor, would you? They all kind of like look around for a second at like this, this startling voice. Just... They all kind of look at you and are just that, like. Yeah. Actually, it wasn't red. Like, the express machine is not working. We don't think oh. he would be like, inclined. So, like, okay, I guess I'll get a frozen lemon. He's like, they don't want the ice caps. Like, you said the red shoes broken. No, the express machine. Oh, give you new spice. Uh, new. <laughs> Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sorry, guy just here dropped my coffee off, so I was chatting with him. Oh, we heard all of it. We heard all that about the lemonade. Yeah. That's what, well, that's what happened. It was because it was so confusing because I wanted a red eye ice cap. <laughs> And the guy mumbled, he's like, yeah, the machine is broken. And I was like, oh, so I can't have espresso? And he's like, uh, or I was like, so I can't, okay, then I'll have the uh, frozen lemon. He's like, you don't want the ice cap? <laughs> yeah, I do. Well, you said the machine is broken. He's like, no, the espresso machine is not, not working. He's like, oh, so I can just have regular ice caps. Like, yeah, that's what I said. I was like, that's not what you said, but okay. A <laughs> nice big you. motherfucker. Yeah. And then he's like, I can give you a different flavor. I was like, what flavor? He's like, pumpkin spice. Me, I was like, no. <laughs> Don't give me that shit. <laughs> so, so it's here that uh, the the five the five priests here look at each other and they go, "All dead isn't fit to wield a dagger." We'll tell you that he is suitable Why enough. Why should we listen to you? He's suitable enough to kill goblins without it. a dagger. With his bare hands? Without. Or a dagger? Without the need of weapons. So he can fight with his bare hands. He you weird fuck. We No, he doesn't fight with his little hands. He's He's, he's got monk levels, you he's guys. He's not strong. He's no, he's not strong enough physically. He's 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 able to tap into something. He can We've noticed that he says he can see spirits. The child. Yeah, no, yeah, no duh, he could see my dad. <laughs> Have, well, how often do you see your dad? Uh, pretty often. More often than you do. Good for you. More often than all dead does. That's the point of all this, okay? You'd be surprised how often you can see me. <laughs> they all look. They all look around frantically. <laughs> I I think you guys found something new to worship. <sighs> yeah, that kid's probably uh more of a prophet than that painting. Yeah. Do you already come with his name on it? Listen, if if all we're saying is <laughs> you you abruptly took him from us, that if if you are going to bring him with you, there is the chance that his parents are alive. That's what we'd like okay. to say. Alex is like he was the main quest NPC and you guys just derailed it. Absolutely <laughs> <Super> not. <hard>. <laughs> <laughs> A- actually, <laughs> All Dead got created once the idea of, like, don't drink the water, guys, line came out. He was made right then and there, and I had a list of names in front of me, and oh, I hit one. He's important oh. now. <laughs> well, good. Now All Dead can learn the lesson of vengeance. And the best part is All Dead was spelt very differently, but the way it's pronounced is still All Dead. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming it's A-L-D-E-D. Yeah. 
Al Dent. <laughs> And everybody was just like, A L L T E A T. And everybody was like, Oh! I'll turn this boy into Goblin Slayer. <laughs> Shoot, I'll turn this boy into Goblin Slayer. Is All Dead with us right, right now? Or is he no, he, still somewhere? He's, in, he's in the, uh, he's at the inn. <laughs> well, there's gotta be like a tiny sword or something around the, one of these dead bodies. One of these rats. Like, tiny sword is called a knife. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure we can arm the child if we needed to. I mean, like time. a little gladius. That would be adorable. Should not worry about his. Uh, I'm sure we could arm the child. Stab someone. <laughs> <laughs> he can have my morning suit, my ninja star, if he wants to. I don't think I use it that much. Why would you give him where, a pistol where, too? Yeah, is he? We're talking about him, but where is he? You know, if, if you He's give me about eight hours, I'll make a couple <laughs> grenades and we just throw him out with Kid, that. Kids at the pub. Where else do you put children? He's at the pub. Pixie pulled at the pub, and Gertie just like throws her <laughs> hands in the air and just starts like stomping over there. Like we're just, over here, like you're the one that left there. him there. We left him with you. Where is he mad? It's a community gathering hole. I guess. I'm going to follow Gertie completely okay with arming a child with grenades. You know, I, I just imagine we're having this conversation as we're walking over dead bodies, which makes it even more weird. <laughs> just completely casual conversation yep. with all these dead people. We are completely psychopathic. Dexterity check to see if we trip over any of the bodies. <laughs> A total group of murder hobos who don't give a shit that all these people died. Okay, you guys... Care about one of them. Yeah, only one. Yeah. As you guys make your way back over to um to the bar here, which is also the hotel, like has the piece for the hotel, you guys enter in, and you can see that there's a lot of people like underneath uh, tables. You can see that a lot of people are like trying to peek out of the windows. A lot of people are boarded to like the sides of the walls or like behind the bar, but one sits alone in the center of the room on a high, like a high legged chair. Just one child sits facing straight towards the door. You Very see good. that all dead sits there wide eyed, expressionless, looking straight towards the door as it opens to all of you. As he remarks, I was expecting you earlier. Of course you were. Yeah, well, we had stuff to do. Oh, hold we on, had hold on. Like... Hold on. I have to ask. Do you know where we're going? No, I cannot see that far. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, yeah. It's yeah. Surprise. Um, we think we might know where your parents are, and we're given every bit of an opportunity. If there's a slim margin of a chance that they exist, we will find them. We will have to travel to the great beyond, to the outer planes of this dimension to find them. Who is this kid? It's all yeah. them. I... I I agree. We we will we will travel to the outer planes of this dimension. What are you talking about? He like hops off the chair, but as he hops off, the chair scoots back two feet. Okay. Well, um, hey, ghost dad, is there another ghost in here? Look, I can't answer that right now. I'm not exactly on my keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you don't suppose... And ghost dads, the other ghost dads? You don't suppose Dean made it, do you? Did we find Dean after the fight? I oh, did, shit, right. I, I, did, from. I did say it's, Dean was cowering, so I'm going to roll... That's right. ...a D8 in the town. We got fish. We can probably learn him out. Let's go to town here. and see, uh... ...which building he's at. How tall are the buildings? Like, could I jump up and... <laughs> oh my god! He rolled a 7, he was in the church. You guys saw him in there. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, he's dead? <laughs> no, no, no. I thought that was a statue! God damn it, okay. Oh, so... Dean was in the church, sorry. <laughs> well, if that was the case, I'm pretty sure he would have... Uh, Noticed you all. ...if Dean was there, and if uh, Todd was there. 
Yeah. So I thought that crack in the wall was just a crack, or is this his butt crack, though? Let's just assume I ignored his existence. Yeah, so so maybe he was like still in the shadows or like hiding away in like a back room or something, but heard all of you guys. And it's at this moment that you guys are inside the bar, and a slow creak happens to the door again. He's like, uh, "Hey guys, it's not, it's not, it's nice to see you all again." You didn't Dang. get eaten by the rats. Oh, the, you made it. Yeah. How many rats did you kill? He goes, uh. Dean, I have one question to ask you, and you better say it's okay. Where's what? the cart? Uh, it, it, it's okay. It's uh, it's in uh, it's in condition. Yeah. You didn't bring awesome. it inside when we let you inside, did you? And, and I went, well, come have a drink. You can see like the bartender and stuff is still like really shooken up about like everything going on in town. I'm just, just thinking. <laughs> Would they still have a room, or are they giving it to all the townsfolk? I'm gonna, I'm gonna lean into the, uh, the barkeeper and be like, you know, the uh, town guard allowed this to happen. If you're looking to sue, uh, I'm, uh, I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Please tell me you have business cards. He like leans over the desk and he goes, you know. My back's been kind of hurting lately. I think it could have been one of those rattlings. I think it oh, you know. could have whacked That's, me, uh, you know? You know, he might have. He, he might have whacked you. I'm just I'm just saying there's uh, this compensation in your future if you uh, Compensation. You compensation. Pretty big word. What does that mean? If you uh, or someone you love. Money. <laughs> money. Money, huh? A lot of money for the guards. I'm just saying... <laughs> They owe you. It was their fault that uh, you got hurt. I'm just guys. <laughs> I'm on days next week. Perfect. Hey. Oh shit, my boy's on days. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Will's gonna wake up his whole family at like midnight in one of these moments. <laughs> Dude, my brother's in the freaking bathroom and he's been there for a really long time. Then it gotta go. <laughs> Saying. Please mute us. Um, <laughs> fine, you, you guys are just in my headset. It's fine. Me, on the other hand, I'm totally not. Right. <laughs> they can hear me. Yeah, so uh, it's here that uh, Todd starts uh, making allegations with the barkeep. Um, Dean here comes over to Evan, is explaining like what happened down by the river. He said that he... Uh, he got guidance from uh, from some kind of ethereal being, helped him restore the uh, restore the cart to to a decent condition, to a running condition. Didn't lose the horse. The cart's in town. It's intact, and he's here Indeed. as well. How are you? Uh, you just survived a horrendous attack on this town yeah uh this place was kind of nice until like all that happened and it all happened like really fast but uh they wouldn't let me in the town for some reason for like so long and uh it got kind of scary out there well that's because there's goblins out there so they didn't want to open the doors yeah but do i look like a goblin and like you could see his face <laughs> Just like... have you ever thought about going back to Belport? i highly doubt they got giant rats tearing off the town agree uh uh, the 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 bigger problem with like Dean going back is like if I go back and none of the other like fishermen go back, it's gonna kind of look like a problem. Also, also like the the forest has like the rolling fog and um up like we had chili before to guide us through it. The rolling fog. Bog? Todd, what's he talking about? Oh, wait. Uh, Ch Chili was the guy that uh, Gertie offed <laughs> uh, on, on, on the... Uh, on stage? Yeah, on stage. <laughs> yeah. So, 
The rolling fog. In self-defense, of course. Uh, the, the rolling fog. Uh, boy, howdy, there's some weird shit in that fog. Uh, let's not go back into that forest. I'd, I'd prefer not to. There's, there's weird talking things. Trees, foxes. That, no, I, I don't want to go back in there. Uh, and also Kenneth, if he's still alive, he's, he's probably in there, maybe. You hear Dean speak up real quick with a burst of confidence. I knew it. I knew you'd admit there was foxes. I knew it. You admitted it. Look, no, foxes You admit it. Fox, no. Okay? I, you no. admit it. The foxes are real. Talk, They're the forest. The frog, foxes do not talk. <laughs> they scream. They scream. It's nothing but screams. They just scream and weirdly understandable. I don't know what the fox say. But... Look, foxes say some weird shit that they shouldn't be. And, okay. uh... <laughs> oh yeah, so like uh like uh where are we going next guys? Uh well, to, you're staying uh, here. Regensburg. What? But wait wait what? Why would he what? stay here? Dean, did Jimmy all dead yet? This is our new friend. Uh he shouldn't be in the bar. He's like really young. It's a pub. It's a community center. <laughs> like, I don't get it. Everyone comes here. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess, uh, you know, in Bo- Boneport. Where else we... are they going to go? Church? <laughs> well, there is one. Yeah. Place. Have you been to that church? Well, yeah, I was like, I was like hiding in it during the, during everything that went down. We tried not to notice. Honestly, nice people. Right. I mean, if they're so nice, you should stay with them, maybe. Oh, they kind of do look like they need help. If you want. Maybe you should help them. <laughs> well, we're going to fight uh, that giant rat thing. You want to come? Oh, God. Wait. The, the No. Uh, I mean... I, I mean, I think maybe my... Talent is better used here. Are you sure you don't want to fight that giant rat? It... I can give you a knife. It might help. <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm not. Uh, uh, yeah, I think. Better off here, I can understand that. Yeah, I think. Uh, I, I'll, I'll go back to the church and see if like uh, the people like uh, take me in. You know. You gotta grow a sack and pick up a sword one day. Dude, you're huge. You can get like a hammer, like a big ass hammer or something. Yeah, and then I can rebuild this town. Yeah, Gromit, you're right. Yeah. Yeah, this guy's got the right idea. And he just storms out of the bar. Mm, That's progression. (laughs) Wow, if you listen to Sir Gromit, but not me, he's on God. That's weird. I wouldn't consider you. Well, my ideas are good, Ghost Dad. <laughs> Look, I I may not be a god at the moment, but I'm working on it. <laughs> you hear the child perk up. You were a lost man in another place. And you are a fucking child. Get out of here. I feel bad for you, Ghost Dad. <laughs> I feel contempt for you. <laughs> Don't. Too bad, dude. What are you going to do about it? Um, he turns around and walks away. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> he walks towards your friends. <laughs> <laughs> wow, little are... bitch. <laughs> is, it, is it just me or is this ghost thing actually okay with arguing with children? Like, it's not really a chance. Of course I'm okay with arguing with children. I had to deal with fucking Strahd. I don't know who Strahd is and why that Oh boy, I have a story for you. (laughs) Oh boy. Yeah, Strahd. He was was vampire. Fuck vampires. (laughs) Fuck vampires. (laughs) 
I thought drunk Todd was gonna be fun. Drunk Anthrax is wild. Oh yeah, no, he's fun. <laughs> You're not gonna elaborate because I could probably. I'm trying to start music and stuff. I may have a story I can make out of that. Look, man, I'll, I'll tell you later, okay? Uh, yeah, as far as let tell you what, I'll I'll listen to the vampire story when we kill this giant rat, and then we make a new story out of that. You know what, bear? Okay. So, are we planning on taking the cart or mm-hmm. trying to hoof it? Because that cart's probably uh, seen some better days. The cart is operational. Well, if Grant is that cart, look at it. Dean's so adamant we'll of helping you. build stuff here. Maybe he can fix the cart before we go. You know what? Like I can that. take a look at the cart. Yeah. Wait, do I have anything to do? I'm not uh, amending. Okay. I'm sure there's plenty of spare supplies just laying around on the ground now. <laughs> so as the, the group of you leave the bar here, and I guess All Dead continues to trek along, mm-hmm. you guys uh, go and find the cart out to the uh, western entrance yeah. where he came in from. And you can see that the cart had a wheel completely repaired where it's um, it's not great. But a lot of it's it's missing some of the spokes, some of it's uh, bent out of shape. It would work. It would bring you to point A to point B. The the structure of it itself is just in less. It its integrity is much less. It's a lot mm. weaker than it was, just because of its like tumbling over and it cracking. But functionally, it's still a very good machine. And it still has the horse. Yeah. Hey, could we could we use mending on it at all? And would that make it better or no? Uh, uh, you'll kind of need to do like it's... some hardware fixing for sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, even better idea. Is there any carts available in town? More carts? Yeah. Let's just just find a brand new cart. Oh, actually, I have zero gold. Uh, I shouldn't be the one asking that question. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to try to fix this cart. How much money do I have? I wish I had two screens. I will next week. But All right. Okay. So I would look to find just like some spare supplies, such as like just some wood and some potential spare wheels or so, just laying around that. I might be able to just throw in there and uh, replace as we're going if I have to. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. yeah, you'd be able to find, um, find like, you'd definitely be able to find some wood, that's for sure, uh, just laying around. But it's not saying that it's properly made to be constructed into, uh, right. into the wagon. But you would be able to find some spare materials. Um, like I said, it's functional. It's just weaker. Yeah. So I I am able to fix the like things if I find the material. So I wish to actually perform repairs on this. Okay. So then, give me. What kind of check would you like to be making here towards... Uh... Well, I, I would say I'd get my proficiency bonus because of my all-purpose tool. Right. Plus whatever uh, ability check you feel is appropriate. That's what I'm asking. That's what, like, what are you trying to aim towards here? Like, refit a new wheel if I have to reinforce any holes like if i see some stuff that's about to fall apart like replace or reinforce that by adding more material whatever i need to do i've no I idea who's this to do <laughs> Is that Caleb listening to that? Yeah. Yeah. It's not as exciting as my coffee story, but... Can Caleb hear us? 
I'm still here. Oh, okay. Dude, we can hear whatever you're listening to. For sure. Oh, you can hear that? It's it's funny, but... (laughs) We can hear your uh, flailing arm, flailing tube man guy. Talking about Uh, Give me a survival check, then. That's good. You're trying to rebuild something. Uh, So that would be... <laughs> 19. Perfect. You are able to um, reinforce what is weaker on this uh, on this machine. You're able to reinforce it and ensure that its stability is uh, more prepared for the ride. I like oh. to believe it's also covered in duct tape. Duct tape it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll give the cart more hit points now. Awesome. All right. I think... Uh, how long do you think that took? Maybe a half an hour. Not so awesome. bad. Yeah. Efficient. I, li- I like it. Okay. Well, I think that's about as good as I can do on short notice. You guys ready? We have provisions. We're all famished. We have gear. We have provisions. I think I'm ready to uh, head out there and turn some goblins into puddles. I really can't wait to test out some new ideas that came to light after the last encounter. I think that uh, it's going to be a lot more efficient. Yeah. We'll have to be sure to uh, tell the next time not to fuck up as bad as this one did. Well, it's from here that you guys can travel to the east and go back down to Mundrick before going more east back to uh, Brixenburg. You can go to, like, the original Mundrick town, or you can head towards it and skate across the field and uh, just go past the town. It's up to you guys. Do we have a reason to go back to town? Do you wish to uh, check in on your wife? Perhaps... Let her know about your son's passing. I don't think we knew about that. Like, I don't think he said it out loud. What that was. I know about it. Wait, what? <laughs> what? 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 Who? I'm not getting it. I say we had the new Mundrick. I had to regular Mundrick. The original Mundrick. I'd put my hand on your shoulder, but then you'd be poisoned. So that won't... That's why you wear gloves, man. I don't have gloves yet. I need to go to a clothing store. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay. So you guys are all uh, piling in? Yep, and um, we will head our way back to my crib. Okay. Uh, yep. yep. And who's going to be the person? Anybody needs to take watch, I will take first watch. Well, as you guys are trekking along, I think you have uh, the one person who likes to be your uh, be your new guide. Right? Okay. Evan? No, Evan. Oh. Evan's been using the cart the most. Been using the cart? Yep, so I okay, will so give you a animal handling check with advantage, and you now... With advantage? Oh, man. You've been doing it quite a bit, and you just worked on the vehicle yourself, so... All right, so oh, yeah. glad I got advantage, because I just rolled a natural four. Let's see what the second <laughs> one is. That's natural eight. Plus? So, plus four. Twelve. <laughs> you got to handle the horse pretty good. Not super well, but it's a... It's, uh... Maybe it's a little shooken up by the combat and the fighting and seeing all the bloodshed and wondering that it was going to be something's next meal. You guys begin to trot it out the east side of town where you guys get to see that a lot of the people are trying to begin to build the city back up. And you can see that there are a lot more defensemen up on the walls being posted before you leave. That makes sense. They should... uh... Definitely increase their defenses. 
I mean, realistically, uh, if you ask me, they should have wiped out those rats. I don't know why they were just piling their standing still still. That makes no sense to me. Well, I know they know. Probably just talking to the horse because that's probably the only person can hear me at the front of the car. <laughs> yeah, you're just talking to a horse. <laughs> I'm trying to play a flute. <laughs> so it's going to take about an hour to two hours for the travel. Uh, is there anything that you guys would like to talk about within the cart? You guys have all dead with you. You guys are all piled in together. You got rid of one um, adventurer and gained another. So how can you see me? Uh, I've always had this benign gift to see the ethereal, see through what others cannot. Why? Because it speaks to me. What speaks to you? It was the lay of the land that spoke to me, but now it Look, is... Look, Strahd is dead, okay? Who, Strahd? Now... Never mind. Now Are it you is... Are going to tell us that vampire story? Now it is... Look, I'm, I get the uh, answers first. Now it is the star in the sky that speaks to me, as he points up towards... Um, towards like like you guys are in in the confines of this little wagon and he like points up to the roof of it look I can't get through to this kid if he can't uh, give us a straight answer I think he's talking about the moon what's that star <laughs> dumbass kid Right. Well, actually, I don't know anything about astronomy. You are an angry and bitter old man. Damn right I am. <laughs> Just a little bit drunk too, but I mean, let's, let's not question that one. You can see that all dead just keeps blinking. Quit blinking at me. <laughs> Please see blinks. <laughs> Is there anything else inside the confines of the, the wagon you guys would like to talk about? Mm. If Anthrax if Anthrax really wants to tell a story, he can, but yeah, go ahead. What's the story? <laughs> tell us the story. <clears throat> okay. I'll tell you the story about Strahd. And, uh, uh, Anthrax is gonna, like, just, he's, he's gonna be invisible for this. So he's like, just, just, whoop, there he is. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, uh, he's gonna go ahead and, uh, tell his, uh, story. So, there I was. Got an invitation from some, like, crazy woman. She wanted me to, like, bury her dad or some shit, right? And, uh, I was like, alright, you know, I got a weekend open, I guess. And I went there, there were some vampires, and, uh, there, there, there was a paladin, and, uh, a cat, and, uh, a turtle. And then I died. Like, some asshole just took an axe and just smashed it right into my back. Like, what a piece of shit. You know what I mean? And, uh, then I, uh, came back to life as a little girl. I would ask about that. That was weird. It lasted a couple of days. And, uh, I almost took over the whole row. That was fucking sweet. But, uh, then, uh, like, the land itself was like, no, and like, there 
a scrawn and uh, he almost killed me, but then I was like, no, nah, eat shit, motherfucker. And uh, I killed him super hard. Yeah, yeah. Like, ask anybody, they will totally back me out of that one. And uh, uh, here I am anyway. Uh, hi, my name is Anthrax. And uh, he's just going to hold his hand out and uh, shake whoever uh, feels like holding his hand. Evan's just going to lean in from the like, outside the car window. It's like, you're a little girl? Look, uh, at, at one point I was, but, uh, you know, she was an orphan and she kind of died. And uh, I was there, so, I mean, uh, you know... Let me, let me borrow the body being, uh... But... But, okay. But... <laughs> I know how it sounds! No, I'm just trying you, to figure out how you were endowed if you body. were a little girl. So you were a grown man I, in a little girl's body? Okay. What? Oh, oh. Is this before or after you had Todd? I leave my head away from the window the back of the top, okay. in front of the car. No, no, wait. With, with Todd, like... I was in a cult, and like, there was a lot of mushrooms, and things got, you know, kind of hot and heavy, and I'm like, hey girl, what's up? And like, you know, things were kind of fun for a while, and then I just kind of left. There was a, a better cult, let's just say that. I don't want to say any god names because they're gonna look at me and I don't exactly have a body. So they're gonna probably do some weird some shit at me. So uh let's uh let's not talk about that god and you know, say his name. I I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. Am I the only one that feel like I took intelligence damage for listening to that conversation? You so, might have. I'm not gonna lie. So, words, he just said, I felt like I I died a little more inside with. You're with a cat and turtle? Like, what the fuck does that mean? I mean, how the hell is a cat supposed to fight a vampire? Lord? We're a turtle, that's way look, too soon. Look, 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 look. You'd be surprised how effective that cat and turtle were, okay? Like, it was a pretty tall cat and, like, a really big turtle. Like, a really big one. And I, like, put my hands out by a few feet, or oh, I'll be talking about, like, this? Like, no, this? like, 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 this big. Like, this big. Like, really big. Oh. You see that all dead turns to you, and it's just like, if they were your friends, where are they now? Look, like, nobody asked you, child, okay? Like, no. you shouldn't even be able to see me, at least, I mean, at this point, anyway. I'm just, just saying that's kind of weird. Ah. Uh, you're right. Nobody asked so, me. I asked you. Yeah, yeah. No, nobody asked you to ask me. Okay. Sounds like you don't know. What do you mean? Of course I know. I I know where my friends are. <laughs> they're, they're my friends. Look, look, I have friends. Okay. I'm just saying, I got, I got friends. Can I ask one thing? How would Todd react to knowing that his, uh, his uh, creation was uh, under the influence of shrooms at a cult party? Uh, yeah, Todd's just like, <laughs> I got this face, just like, <laughs> fucking what? <laughs> I'm learning so much about myself. Hey, Todd, he never told you about it? In front of our answer strangers. No, this is, this is all brand new to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, my like, dad was on shrooms. I, I thought you would tell that stupid 
vampire story I like to you all the time. Right? It, it's not even Find that. A, it's it's you've known your it's your earliest memory. It, it's you've known your mother to be a very simple As, woman that like keeps the house kind and clean, let alone from the one time that she's she's shown that she has strong magic behind her when you your non real dad decide to be forceful. Like that's the like you don't imagine oh. your mother in that type of direction either hmm. to hear like <laughs> there was a whole nother life obviously before you but you thought it was one way and that is not true yeah. you know everybody's got the kinks well well Todd You're an orgy. Well, I, I feel like I missed something. <laughs> I'm just asking, like, how do you think Todd would be reacting to knowing this new information about his... That he's an orgy baby. <laughs> <laughs> he could be. Yeah. <laughs> Look, let's be honest. There's no could be. He's definitely an orgy demon. Demon. That's why he's a lawyer. Look, the, <laughs> the orgy demon was probably uh, anthrax. <laughs> um, I don't know who we're traveling with anymore. This individual, I thought I knew, <laughs> is scary as hell with a background like that. Dad's. Uh... Oh. Hmm? Yeah, that's the. Uh, I have no defense. It's kind of weird. Anyways, all dead. Let me get some weapons out for you to choose from. <laughs> that's normal. Yeah, he comes and sits beside you to see, like, and he doesn't stop blinking, but he only looks directly, like, in towards your eyes. Okay, what do I got? Um, I think I got a javelin. I got a throwing star. I got a knife. I got another knife. Another javelin? No, I don't get it. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. I do not feel like these are necessary. They're absolutely necessary. Well, can you shoot magic like this? And I just like acid splash out of the back of the <laughs> the back of the cart, the, the caravan, like into the road. Just, can you do something like that? As uh, you do that, and the the acid begins to bubble on the ground as you guys cart away, you can see like he moves a hand out, and like a frigid, cold hand comes out of the palm of his hand and co like chills down the uh, the acid on the ground hmm. oh he's got chill touch i have that i barely know what it is but i have it <laughs> yes i've been gifted from when I was young. Cool. Alright, you want javelin? Um, I'm assuming in the time that we are carting to Mundrick, we consider of taking a short rest. Yes. I will give you guys the short rest. Good. Uh, but Gromit, he, he comes over and just explains like, you keep your weapons for when you will need it. For I see you will need everything you have on you. One day. Mm, that's not ominous at all. He just kind of stares at you blinking. <laughs> you can stop that, please. <laughs> Give me the bug eyes. <laughs> In grunt culture, it's not very good. Okay. So 
So as you guys begin to uh, roll up to the outside of uh, First Mundrick, you can see that there's the small farm town as you guys have come to like the edges of the uh, the large sprawling fields. You can see that there's the farmlands again as you guys uh, make your way up to the small farm town of Mundrick. Uh, are you guys planning on entering Mundrick or are you guys planning on um, just bypassing the town and going... We kind of got some bad news to give out. So. Uh, that's actually up to Sir Nicholas. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Do you wish oh, to deliver the news to the unfortunate one in the town there. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but she needs to know. Okay. So as you guys roll up to the uh, the, e the the western side of town uh, and park the caravan, you can see that there is the uh, the gates that are left open once again, just like usual. But you can see that there is a, a guard or two at each of the gates here. Even with the door open, they are like scouring ahead for like people coming in, considering they had the invasion of the ratlings before. Didn't think they were going to be a big deal, but uh, you can see that they have they have the doors open, but they have people standing out front. And uh, we're just going to take a quick break. I'll let you guys do your short rest mechanic, and then uh... oh, cool. yeah, that's what that's what he was asking. Two hours, right? Yeah. Yeah. I got two ones. Nice. <laughs> Someone who needed it the most got the least. <laughs> well, you well I'm almost. I am going to recover a second level and two first level spell slots. That's what I like about my class is I literally... I'm just going to go wash them. ...only used a shield spell and cantrips. I don't think when I used it, I think he didn't hardly use anything when I was playing him, because he just shot everything. I am there. Although, I don't have my second level spell slots yet, because we haven't taken a long rest. No. And I don't have my improved arcane firearm yet, because we haven't taken a long rest. That's okay. Uh, I'd imagine our cantrips still do the level 5 damage. They damn better. Mm. By the way, the spells I took are um, Enlarge Reduce and um, Enlarge Reduce and Acid Arrow. Okay. More acid. I'm sorry. I already have the large reduced. Invisibility in acid arrow. I've got the chill touch, the firebolt, the light, the shocking grasp, the wrist pocket, catapult, flood familiar, hex, magic missile, sleep, misty step, dragon's breath, suggestion. Bending, official knock region. Charm Person, Cure Wounds, Feather Fall, Hex, Hades Laughter, and Misty Step. Pretty good selection we've got here. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I, I have to go stuff. tell my wife that our kid's dead. That's great. Hey, I'm your husband. Oh, and our son's dead. Uh, bye. <laughs> I already know how I'm going to do it, which is why I asked if he had, like, a piece of, um, jewelry or something. Mm hmm Oh, okay. There's something cool. Checks me if I chose in case. Of it. 
Back to days. Oh, happy. You know, uh, in order for me to use a uh, improved arcane focus, I have to uh, put it on a, a staff, and I'm just counting the staff as like the equivalent of an M1 grand. And I get to literally use it as a melee weapon if I wanted to, too. That's so awesome. Look, okay, so the M1 Grand was made of oak or That's cedar. Harder. And uh, if you got hit with it, your life was changing. Exactly. I mean, cedar's a soft wood, but if it's heavy enough, I don't think it really matters what kind of wood you're getting hit with. <laughs> Just the butt of the gun, people, still. I mean, when it's a solid piece of wood, it don't matter where you're getting hit with it. It's gonna hurt. Mm. You're gonna feel it. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna... Wow, what was that? A cedar? Also, oh, I, what'd you throw? <laughs> I took Thorn Whip. I don't know how much of an effect that's gonna help. I only got a 60-foot range on it, even with Smell Sniper. But, uh... That pulls hey, things 10-foot forward towards me. Just, I might have to use that on an ally at one point. It's like, mm -hmm. pull you towards me. Well, I mean, mm -hmm. if they're downed, they only take one death save, and then you can heal them as a bonus action with a... No, if it came to that, I would just have my cat touch them, and I'd cast chill, t I know, hear wounds through it. True, true death, true death. I was curious if D&D uh, &D Beyond would count uh, taking my Spell Sniper cantrip from Wizard as Chill Touch as like an Artificer spell for using like Arcane Focus. It seemed to count everything. Not. Oh, it did? Yeah, D&D Beyond seems to work. Well, then again, I, you know what? I forget. It doesn't calculate uh, what you call it, Arcane Firearm into stuff. I just got to mm -hmm. do that manually. Arcane Firearm has the D8, uh, but Improved Arcane Focus. It's yeah, it adds it plus one. Yeah. But I'm up to a plus nine on attacks. That's fucking Jesus. awesome. Fun win. Oh, I didn't send you my sheet yet, Alex, but I'm... What did I choose? I don't know, what did you choose? Let me look at my stuff again. Sure. Features and features. Class features. Oh, uh, I took a, a Fey touched feet. Oh, really? Nice. Uh, yeah. If you took Fey touched, what uh, spell did you take with it? I took Hex. Hex? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll just play it off as I just put extra poison in there. <laughs> you, you, you know, it, did you just take Fate Touched? Uh, yeah, that was for my level. Four. You know, you could do other spell like. Well, that's up to you if you want. Uh, what well, like, kind of change? Did anything else? Uh, there's like yeah. other things you can do. Well, like um, yeah, right. you can use any enchantment or any uh. Is it enchantment or any divination, I believe. Yeah, divination. So like you can use uh hell, you could even put silvery barbs on that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest, I... for him I think I think hex is better because that hex damage dice can crit. That's true. Also Hunter's Mark is one of those too, but I don't think I think Hex is better. Yeah. Well it'll be plus D six necrotic damage on any hits I do once they're hexed. And then if that adds to it, then... Because then there'll be the poison on top of that, and then there'll be the... Depending mm -hmm. on who I'm fighting, the uh, sneak attack D6 as well, and then there'll just be my regular attack as well. So, it'll stack up. We'll stack up. <clears throat> okay. 
Wow. I can let you know. I also use hex. So, shenanigans. Double hex. Double hex. <laughs> well, so they'd only be affected by one hex. But if we have more than one target. Yeah. It's best to diversify if we have more than one target. I thought both hexes work. Like, nope. I'd be able to hurt a motherfucker help. and he'd be He's able to just... hurt he, it would have to be a different level. Yeah, until I kill him, and if the spell is still in effect, I can use a bonus action it's, to move that heck to the next target. It, it's because of the magic rule of... It, and I, I could be wrong on this one, but if, I, if I'm not mistaken, if if a creature can only be the subject of the target of one named spell. like so, like, Exactly. Like mm -hmm. this one spell of the same name. So if someone else... Whatever the most recent on it, one is, is what's affecting Hmm. It overrides the last one. Yes. I suppose fair. Well, they do that simply for the rule, so, like, you can't have That's one person right. cast in large and another person cast in large and another person cast in large. Or, you know, glyph of warding haste, glyph of warding haste, glyph of warding haste. <laughs> so many attacks. Yeah. The rules are designed so you can't do that. Okay. So you guys make your way to the outside of Lundurk once again. And you guys make your way in as the town's guard here recognize the group of you, except for the child. As they uh, all kind of look at you guys and see that you come along with all dead, but have no Dean or the fishermen that you guys left with. Just, uh, you guys have a revolving group? So, yes. No, um, we shrunk them. Same guy. Interesting. Who we come and go with is of our concern, not yours. Well, coming into our town, we, uh, we just, uh, we're keeping more of a lookout on each of the, each of the people coming in and out. Of well, course. Well, when. Oh, that's so, like literally like the last time we came here, I, we walked in with literally no guard even taken care of what we were doing. Right, we were short stuff, but uh, no, they're not. Uh, things have been a bit of a tighter shift. It's uh, it's been good. Um, it's been I a heard good this ever since your mayor got a gun. That has helped a little bit. Did he get a new hat? He is. A new as you're wearing the current hat. <laughs> yeah. Uh no. Uh actually they they, they kinda look at each other and they go Um Well they may not notice my hat because I also have the pirate hat on top of the cowboy hat. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> uh no, he has not gotten a new hat. Ever since uh the fight broke out during uh during the play, he, he lost the hat. You don't say, oh no, whoever could have done that. Was that before or after he killed somebody on stage? We uh, we saw that. that He didn't kill anybody. No, oh, he's what? Is, is that a, That's not what I saw. Is that the way that you guys are pronouncing it outside of town here? Because we were there. We, we saw what happened. And they both point Look, like at the, Gertie, and it's just like too, and... she literally stabbed that man. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know what you're talking about, mate. What I heard, totally <laughs> they, different. They point hey, at I you. And, they point at you, and they're do like, you, "You were there too." <laughs> do Do you have a problem with yeah, us? I saw a bunch of rats, and they, and they fucking killed the guy on stage. It was fucked up. Right. Right. Well. Look. All I'm saying is the people in Ripvale heard a completely different Jumped up on stage and whipped a gun out. Like, that's... Yeah. You should have done something about right. it. You, if anything, you should be thanking uh, Gertie. We we were helping the townspeople evacuate off the stage for all the violence. Is that what you call it? So then how do you know what happened on stage if we're helping everyone get out? They all kind of look at you guys and are just like, uh, just come in. Please, dear right. God, ah. just no. N we don't have any more stages for you guys to jump up onto. Please, it's been disassembled. Be the best parking. thing I've done all day. No, really. 
I was aware there was a crazy bar fight year once too. On the same day. <laughs> As you guys walk into town, things do seem different. People are still uh, busy within town, um, going between like the warehouse supplies. Some people are going to like the sip and tip still. But you can see that the town square is uh, changed up a little bit, and you can see that it's more of like a area that it's got more of like a like a stand and a pedestal for one person to speak at than it does like a full stage anymore. So it's as if uh, Casey might be using it to um, announce things that are going on within the town. But you can see that a lot more people seem to be armed and uh, more prepared to fight off. Um, creatures or invading invading monsters or those those who come through the doors um, through violence and persistence. You can see that both gates are manned with people. More people have decided to take up a responsibility of being guards outside the gates than it than it used to be. Are they wearing like like did they suddenly get a supply? shipment in of weapons or are they just wearing like they have like a little bit of leather armor wicker, wicker shields and pitchforks yeah I'd, I'd say like they are using more farming tools but it was a lot more people were bound to the the idea that they were the farmers and didn't have to be guards gotcha but now well, some I of think them have... farmers would have like swords and stuff anyways just in yeah. case but... yeah yeah Besides, <laughs> nah, dude, swords are expensive. Oh, yeah, well, maybe, yeah, I, mean, I guess so. It's not they like can farmers with guns, like, they yeah. get poisoned by random like, fucking mushrooms. These people, these people can't even fucking afford medicine. You think they can yeah. afford fucking sword? No, uh, this farmer, you think you'd at least make a bow and arrow or something just in case, but <laughs> oh, like, back, yeah. Yeah. back to You'd also medicine. think they'd have mush mushroom. Antidote, but, but you know, yeah. between all well, the guards, that's because that stupid church took everyone out of this town. Look, between all the guards, they have three bows and they all share one arrow. <laughs> <laughs> when the man in front of you dies, take his bow. <laughs> <laughs> Who's got the arrow? Who's got the arrow? <laughs> the man in the back holds the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you guys are in town here. What would I'm you guys gonna, like to do? Actually, once we kind of get walking around, I'm going to look for like any kind of guard that's in town, not necessarily at a gate, and just ask him if uh, the Viper Gang's still hanging around town. We've been, uh, we've been seeing a lot less of them, and uh, we've been trying to keep watch, but it seems like they were gathering to the city to the north of us for a little while. And uh, we didn't hear too much of them outside of that. Well, do you guys have uh, any news from New Mundrick anytime recently within the last like six hours? Uh, <laughs> Specifically, is that where you guys came from? Yeah, we just came yeah. from New Mundrick. Do you have news? There's uh, a siege. About two thirds of it just got wiped out by the Lord of Hunger, and the Viper Gang tried to assist the Lord of Hunger in doing so. With the rat people. Yeah. Those pieces of shit. Uh, I hope you didn't have any relatives in that town because they might not have made it. <laughs> they, you can see like shame, man. one of them starts to go a little bit white and uh, loses loses some color, and he's just like, "Look, we might as well not sugarcoat it." Why'd you have to put it like? Why'd you have to put it like that, man? Why'd you have to be so dark about it? Oh, I thought I was being upbeat. My. The affliction that... in my voice didn't seem well, like it was. Good news is, it's, it's still there. We helped out. It's just, you know. Right? Did you, did you know if Susie made it? Did you? Did oh you no, know? Susie! Susie's absolutely fucking dead, mate. She's, she, she was the first one to go. I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> you see, yeah, the, crushed by the Lord of Hunger immediately. You see, the guard walks off, tossing his sword onto the ground, and instantly goes to the sip and tip, almost kicking the door down. Well, these are <laughs> bastards. Yeah, but I was yeah. kind of move. Like, I was fine. <laughs> not to dick too far. I just uh, look around. Which one was Sally? Because I don't remember anyone getting paid now. There is no. I'm, I'm... 
I'm the, gonna be honest, I never saw Sally there. <laughs> the uh, the other the other guard speaks up. He's like he he's grieving. Sally died years ago. He's still grieving. Then why would he bring that up? You guys just uh, we've been trying so hard with him. How long ago was he? The guy that you have, he's not mentally well. Why is he guarding? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, snaps, he, has a sword. he also walks off into the sip and tip. He's just like, what the fuck have you guys done? You guys just got here. Look, man, these girls. Well, well, I know what I'm going to do. There's a stable guy with weapons guarding them. That's, that's a problem waiting to happen. I mean, is it really all it takes for the guards for desertion in this town? I mean, I thought they stepped up their security, but... Literally, there's just two swords on the ground, and swords are expensive. I'm you see, this is that. what happens when your mayor shoots somebody on the stage. Look, yeah. But anyway, just, you can sell these swords. Someone really should arrest that mayor for his murder. <laughs> and you can see oh, in this... I should be I'm going to put the cowboy hat in my backpack and just wear the pirate hat so he doesn't say anything. And just in this <laughs> moment, again. just in this moment, you can see that Casey Jinn is walking around town. You can see that he's got like a hip flask and he's spinning the gun around on the edge on like in through the center of one of his fingers, just spinning the gun around um, with very little concern about it. And you can Boy, see mate, that's you, bad gun control there. I see you, mate, still mate, have murder you, need to, you need to take your finger off that trigger before I melt that finger. <laughs> that is absolutely terrible gun control. You see that Casey Jin. Still has who, his. Who taught you? Who taught you target acquisition like that? His uh, high-rise cowboy boots, but it's at this moment that you can see that he's got one of those open visor hats on instead. <laughs> what? <laughs> like that they wear at like golf golf tournaments. Oh, where it's just a shade. Yeah. Like for the yep. front and no top. Yep. I know exactly what you're talking about. You can see that he's wearing one of these. And he's out you in the town. Like an idiot. Like, <laughs> he holt holsters the gun when he sees you guys. He's just like, "Hey, you guys were uh, wait. <laughs> you guys were the ones that caused all that mayhem last time you were here." I didn't do anything. That was those rats. I don't like how you're people. slinging around those accusations, just the way you casually sling around that gun. <laughs> so he's got nice, like a. Uh, he's got like this. Uh, confident sway to himself as he like walks towards you guys it's just like listen what you guys did for the town was a good thing not a great thing but good thing oh. it really showed everybody here that they need to whip into shape and believe me they did they stepped up but uh, not really I we see. just discerned two guards and i already dropped their weapons right here and walked into the pub well, Casey, as long as I'd love for you to flag me with that hand cannon again, um, I have to go tell my wife something absolutely terrible, and I'm not looking forward to it, so I'm going to get it out of the way as soon as possible. He puts his hand on your shoulder, and he's like, you got it, champ, and picks up the swords and goes, I'm going to talk to those guards that are inside the pub. Hey, Casey, question for you. Do you know Cassandra from New Mundric? The stern bitch? Yeah. Did you know that two thirds of her uh, soldiers actually just got wiped out by the Lord of Hunger like less than <laughs> less than half a day ago? <laughs> he kind of like looks at you wide eyed. He's like, two thirds is like six of our people. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then like <laughs> the town was pretty much destroyed. Also, we have any Viper gangs hanging around here? Uh, they tried to kill that entire town too. Yeah, we got some more dust to settle. So I recommend to arrest all Viper gang and uh, interrogate them. We've uh, we've oh, got. Oh, if you see any rats, shoot them on sight. Yeah. Done and done. Good. That's picks all up, I have to say. Picks up you the swords missed. and goes to walk. <laughs> <laughs> Just dismiss the bear. <laughs> picks up the swords and goes towards the bar. Hmm. I can't help but know. Like, uh, uh, I think he's stepping up his confidence a little bit there. He might, uh, I don't know. This town needed some kind of direction. Might not be the best one, but it's a direction. So I need to be confident. But, uh, Alcohol and guns. <laughs> <laughs> Did he seem drunk? Yes. Mm -hmm. It seems like he's holding his liquor, though, pretty okay. 
Oh yeah, he's got a new hip flask. He said that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so he had, did he have like an ammo belt or just a holster? Just a holster. Do you think he had anything <laughs> more than the six shots that were in the gun? Uh, oh, get, this is about it. <laughs> give, give me an in, give me an insight check. Okay. Uh, let's see here. That would be a sixteen. Being uh, around a firearm such as that for a while, you can see that um, you can see when he was spinning the gun around and being in the holster, like questioning like his capabilities with the gun. You can see that three of three are like empty within the chamber, like through the slots of the chamber, and there's about three rounds left within it. And you don't imagine if he had rounds. He would have already put them in. <laughs> right. That's, that was my thoughts exactly. It's like, yep. I don't know if you guys ever seen the uh, Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, but like he's using a shotgun the entire time and everyone's like, I don't want to touch him because he has a shotgun. And then like halfway through the movie, he, re he reveals that he just got new rounds for it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I haven't seen the movie for a while. I forgot about that. <laughs> it's been a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, you'd imagine if he had rounds for it, he would have reloaded it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, I'll just kind of convey it. It's like, uh, I only saw about three rounds in his bare, uh, his sidearm there, and I don't think he has any more left. So, <laughs> let's see how long it lasts. For his talent. Yeah, he thinks three rounds will be enough. Okay. Hopefully he has one safe to him. And I'm I'm walking away towards the statue of me. Yeah, I'm going for that too. I'm just gonna just gonna follow a little bit too minutes. Okay. You guys make your way to the center of town here where there's the statue of the uh the bald wizard with the um scabbard that has nothing within it. You can see that uh there's a few people in the center of town standing around, um, just doing some the like conversating between each other, but you can find your wife here, Mikso. You can see her standing around with, with your daughter, who is not currently working at the bar. I'm going to go up to Bertolda and Rimuru, and um, I'm going to take off the necklace that I took from the fist. Jeez. And uh, fold it in both hands. And say, um, ladies, I think I have some quite fortunate news for you. Uh, they both kind of like turn to look at you and they go, Oh, you were from before. Um, it's been a few days. How have you been? Well, I've been better. Um, and you should both probably have a seat. Uh, they kind of look around. Like, you can come back to our house if you'd like, if, if if there's something you need to tell us that's more private. Yes, I think that's probably for the best. Okay. So as you guys see that um, Mikso here takes off with uh, towards uh, the, um, the northwestern area where the farmer's housing is, what would the rest of you guys like to be doing? Well, I don't want gloves. Sure. I mean, I have no money, but I'll go shopping with Gromit. I got some money still, somehow. I don't know. Uh, there was the warehouse and supply place that you guys uh, <laughs> broke into before. I thought that was Ripvale. No, that was definitely here. Yeah. <laughs> we did that? You guys had. Did I miss you, that? you guys were trying to find Dean, and he ran into a. That's right. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna. It's gonna be out for <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna hang with Sir Nick, and also while I'm with him, I'm just using my bonus action to make my glamour weave robe. Uh, just. Be all like advertising space five gold pieces. <laughs> Advertising just, what? That's just 
like like my glamour weave robe is just constantly like scrolling uh add space uh five gold pieces add space and say like injured won't pay out call it on <laughs> call it on <laughs> Have you been recently <laughs> fired without cause? <laughs> just all, all of the nonsense is just constantly <laughs> scrolling upon my ropes. Rats ravaged your town? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you may be entitled to a settlement. Drunken mayor fired upon your dog? <laughs> <laughs> You might get more than you think. Viper's catching the dick. <laughs> you may get more than you bargained for. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> Five gold pieces okay. for advertising. Anyways. Okay. So, um, we'll go to the warehouse and supply, guys. It's, it's pretty simple here that you guys... Uh, make your way down to what seems to be this big farm uh, uh, like it's a big um, barn looking building that you guys have been to before and you can see that there's the wooden door that's outside of it that looks very frail and fragile um, you guys are able to make your way into it and it's here that you found pitchforks before and shovels and, and mundane items to help with uh, daily tasks for farmers so finding yourself like a pair of leather gloves, like long, like long, up to the elbow leather gloves is like not. Cavalier gloves. Yeah, it's not out of uh, out of the question, but it's here that there's a guard standing on the outside of the building, ensuring that people don't steal from it. So Gromit, you come up to the guard here, and he goes, uh, "What's what's your purpose? Personal or uh, business?" Well, if I'm buying stuff for myself, it's kind of both, isn't it? Sounds pretty personal. Yeah, I need some gloves. We're looking at, uh, he kind of like looks you over. He goes, uh, I think, uh, I think we got a size of like, uh, children's like long elbow gloves for you. Little, uh, That little guy, work. little guy, yeah. Try them on? Uh, Get yeah. Them? Let's say, uh, like four silver pieces. Four silver. Fine with that. Oh, okay, perfect. You see that he goes yeah, in the back, things. and you can see that the they're a little rough. You can see that they got some rips and tears, and a bit of like the leathering around the fingers have been used, and it's like mm. smoothing out a little bit. And they mm, would fit. That's a start. They'd fit you quite well. And, uh... Yeah. Could yeah. I try trading some of the weapons that i just not good with, like the javelin and stuff? Oh, for sure. Like, four silver pieces. Yeah, like a javelin alone is much worth much more than that. Okay. You guys need some weapons for stuff? I got javelin... Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, a lot of the things we have is definitely just for farming out in the fields and uh, helping keep up uh, cattle and, and and working with working with uh, tilling and stuff like that. So of course, of course, uh, yeah, we'd love to. How about did how many javelins do you actually have? I think I have. How many did I get? Uh, if you didn't note it down. Then uh, I'll let you roll two d fours for it. Two d fours. Yeah. There was a lot uh, of dead. Just... There was a lot of dead goblins. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I did. I did check a bunch of the guys before, after the battle. So. Yeah. Okay, two d four. Roll. So I have one at least. So I have like four, four javelins. Okay, he'd probably ask for two. Just two javelins? Yep. Okay. As you guys make the exchange, as uh, he looks to the rest of you, and he's just like, "Is does anybody else need anything? We could uh, just an exchange of goods uh, from from whatever we 
whatever we have could go a long way. Um, sure. Uh, I'll sell you this dagger here. I have no use for it. I'll sell it to you for five silver. I could use that. Honestly, uh... How much did he give the javelins for? Uh, exactly. You got the leather gloves. Oh, so is this a trade for that? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, wait. I got didn't we also... Card. Didn't we also have the stuff that we took from uh, the soldiers? In the last town that all fucking died? I don't think we took too much. We no. Take, actually, oh, you know what? I didn't write down... We did take some gold. From the bodies. Hold on. How much do we see? Like, we I, here? I know we took some bows and, like, short swords and stuff. Right. Oh, that was from the goblins, because the goblins had it. The goblins were no, shooting. No, I mean, like, from, from the soldiers that we looted after they got murdered by all the rats. I don't believe we looted any of the soldiers. No, yeah, it was... We you, guys we went, you guys went out I west we out of town. Yeah. I thought we looted just... We just looted all the rats. Rats got we looted so much. I didn't write down how much gold we got from all that. Uh, nonetheless, uh, he he would buy a few things, but the town doesn't have like a whole lot of like money to offer in return. But he's wondering if Fair. if you guys need anything to trade for. As a uh, he kind of looks over at the caravan that you guys came in on, and he's like. We could probably patch that thing up a bit better for you if you'd like. Hmm, I actually feel personally insulted by that comment. Uh, <laughs> you just fucking called my car a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying for how much it looks like it's been through. Has it been through a lot, sir? Look, I just finished repairing that thing. That is sturdy. It has. It's actually sturdier than when I got it. Uh, we can make you tires with metal spokes in it. Oh shit, that does sound dope as fuck. Yeah, that's actually a lot more effective than the wooden nonsense I got. Uh, how much would that go for? Here, I'll give you a... As I pull a scimitar out of my backpack and kind of just realize that the blood is now like <laughs> really old and black into it and kind of... Scrape it off a little bit. Uh, a, a lightly used scimitar. This is pretty expensive looking. Market value. I mean, I I saw a vendor selling this for like twenty five gold pieces, and uh, sure, I'll, I'll give it to you for like less than half that. He kind of looks at it. And he's like, uh, he, it's pretty grimy, but I understand like. You were probably killing a monster with it, right? I don't want to disclose the fact that that's my blood. <laughs> uh, yeah, a monster. I mean, that's what they're used for, right? Do any of you have any shields or any leftover armaments by any chance? Something the, uh, some of us could wear. Ah. No, I do not. I have wear in the studded leather that I currently carry on me. Yeah. I have a hunting trap. I mm. have a knife you can wear. <laughs> you aren't here. Well, to be honest, you can just have the skim and the scimitar. I, I really don't care. He kind of takes like your gesture, gesture of like not caring about the thing that you're giving him. Give me a... I don't know. It, it it's almost like it's almost persuasion, but it's almost not caring at the same time. Where it's almost like deception that you just don't care about it. Why is it not why is it deception? I mean the town acts like they need armaments and I'm just like, well fuck you just have this fucking sword. Although I am giving it to a cloth vendor that's a random shop owner who's might not have the most use for it, but still. Yeah, give me a persuasion check. Oh, that's not the best. Uh, hey, um, what I can do for you is nothing seven. because I'm not here. <laughs> seven. Where uh, the fact of you're just like, here, just have it. 
it's not very persuading to him. And he's just like, no, no, no. I, I, I feel like we need to have some kind of trade. There needs to be some kind of offer made. Some kind of back and forth. You have any secrets to divulge? I trade for secrets. Uh, um, I have an extra life. A hunting trap. Do you know anything about the mayor? Um, what about uh, portable rations? We could use some of those. Yeah, I'm talking. I am talking to like a cloth vendor, or is this like a general store? What where, what what is it? It's a warehouse and supplies for farming. There's just a oh. guard outside. <laughs> I'm talking to a guard. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I I almost like pity this. Like, was did he even have a sword on him? He had like a spear, like a like a dagger on a stick. <laughs> Then I'm giving him the sword as a donation to protect his shit better. Right, when you were just like, I don't really care about this thing, and you failed your persuasion, it's not, it wasn't just so much like, I'm just giving you this. It's like, uh, yeah, like, he's trying to convince himself that he needs okay, to do a trade. Like, I'll tell you what, if you, if you feel you really must do something, you mentioned that the cart, although it may look not as sturdy as it is, you might be able to improve it somewhat. I'd be more than happy to let you take a look at that and see what you can do. Uh, yeah. Hold on. If what? you want a cool knife, and I could poison yeah. one of the knives and give it and be like, this is a special knife. I can upgrade any blade of yours, yeah. yeah. Oh, let me that... touch your tips. Oh, um. We don't have that kind of bar here, but I, I get what you're putting down. That's not what I meant. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what's wrong with you people. I don't know either. Um, he gathers the scimitar and puts the puts the stick that he basically has back into the warehouse and shuts the door and puts like a really crummy padlock on the really shaken door. And uh, he gathers Is up the... Is this the same door I put a hole in with yeah. a shovel? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> He uh he gathers up four new wheels for you, and he's just like let's let's go take a look at that cart for it. Let's go take a look at that cart. Yeah, okay. I, I can't watch him do this because I'm going to critique every move that he does, and I, I'm just going to let him. Oh, you're going to do it. it. You're going to do it with him. <laughs> so, but then we're going to yeah. go back to Sir Nicholas. That's Sir Nicholas, you enter into. You enter into like a small little home that has only a few rooms within it as the the living stasis of their needs aren't very much. You can see that it's a small little housing area for a lot of the farmers where they just have like almost these small cabin like homes. You enter them into their house. You can see that they have these candles and wicker, wicker lights and stuff like that. You can see that they have a small cooking area and small sleeping areas. And uh, they all sit down around a uh, a small round kitchen table and invite you in. Who's that? No, are you sleeping? <laughs> yep, she's asleep. <laughs> uh oh. Anyway, um, as I take a seat, I'm actually gonna remove my hat. Okay. Remove your hat. My hat and my um, my bandages to show off the actual like um 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 bit of yourself. Yeah, the slimy form. Okay. Your goopiness. Okay. Um, and when I do so, I'm gonna set my hat on the table. And a uh, gesture for them to sit. Are you still the other color? Yes. Okay. Uh, they were already sitting at the table, but they, they, uh, they both look at each other and look at you, and they're just like, "What? What exactly is going on?" I have some difficult to convey news for you. 
I don't know how easy this will be to hear. Okay. It, um, certainly wouldn't be easy for me to go through such a thing. I was at the nearby town, and I'm sure you'll hear the rumors circulating soon enough. Mm -hmm. but New Munderick was attacked by the ratlings. The dirty ratlings, okay. And unfortunately, your son, the Visk, came to its aid. And I'm going to produce the necklace that the Visk was wearing. Okay. Let's get that. You can see that she reaches her hand out to the necklace and uh, can see like it's it's blood stained and it's a lot of its shine has been dulled by the blood. You can see that she begins to like her hands begin to quake and quiver. And as as I press it into her hands, I like fold mine around hers. And say, I know it's not much consolation. If if I had a son, I would have very much liked it to be the best. He yeah. was a good young man, doing what he thought was right in the world. You can see that she she gathers the medallion here and shows it to your daughter as uh they only find comfort in one another here at this moment where they still only seemingly think that you're just this outsider <laughs> just uh the emotion begins to weigh in on the two of them and the fact that you are even there begins to fade away from the two of them as they begin to realize the fact that her son has left to go do something so righteous has fallen by trying to uh, commit to the idea he died in battle for the thing that he believed in but he died so young So I'm going to give them their space for a few moments, and uh, while they're crying, you know, just driven to tears. Mm -hmm. Um. Once once those have subsided a little bit, I'm going to tell them. Just know. That he died bravely, doing what he believed in, what he thought was right for you. I can't say that that it's any easier, but he was a good man. You can see that they try to collect themselves, but. In such a grievous moment, it's even hard to. It's even hard to listen to some kind of echoing outside voice trying to uh, pierce, pierce in. But she turns to you and nods. She says, "Thank you for bringing this, but just <sighs> will there be a burial?" I don't know. Unfortunately, I had to leave before any arrangements could be made. Um, she nods her head, um, and uh, she goes, "Maybe, maybe we'll send somebody up up there to find out if such a thing will happen, and maybe we can we can be there." But you're sure it was him. You're sure it Absolutely was the bisque. Positive. <sighs> they uh 
they begin to reminisce on exactly what you stated, that he was a good young man, that he was full of this courage at heart. And it was how much of a shame it is that somebody so young had to die for something something like that when when the, when their own town is so frugal with letting these these creatures in these violent creatures so yeah, they, they they thank you but it's not at the uh, it's not without the grievousness of their their grief and uh, through like the the faint whispers of their own trying to the, trying to keep composure while talking to you. This is all that he had left on him. This this was it. I could hardly strip him of his armor or anything, but it was the easiest thing to carry. He wanted to do something valiant. He so desperately wanted to be part of the Sun Keepers. It's any consolation, he was. They nod and try to understand, but uh, you can see that you're wife here just uh just like please if 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 that is everything please can you can, can you give us our space of course uh, and then slowly i get up and um begin to walk away like grab my hat and everything and before i do i stop and i turn around and say trust me I know how you feel. Unfortunately for me, there's no time for me to grieve. You can see that um, through like an overwhelming amount of emotions, it's almost like between just the two of them, so much of that gets lost in translation. It's a, it's a big wave for them to hear new news especially since you've known it. Do you know what I mean? And then, yeah, and then gently I'm going to uh, leave their apartment okay. and try and find my comrades. Okay. Yeah, as you I leave. was there the whole time. You were. You said nothing. I said <laughs> zip. Because I occasionally just let things happen. As you go back off into town, you can see that uh, all your comrades are surrounding your uh, your wagon. You can see that it's being held up on one side by a set of bricks here. As you can see that the couple of the wheels are off. And uh, you can see that there's one of the guardsmen and uh, Evan frantically working at trying to put new wheels on your contraption. I'm supervising. <laughs> Perfect. Look, I think it'll it'll be a lot faster if you just let me no no look, please just I, I, I can take it from here. I just and then I just kinda like try and do most of the work myself. I think if you raise it a bit more you should be good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Put the center of the wheel in the stoke, and, uh, yeah. Okay. That's how it works, right? And then I guess I would like you to make a survival check. That's what I made you roll last time to try to build this thing up. Woo! Uh, natural 16 plus 4. Dirty 20. Or no, actually, hold on. No, no. Survival plus yes. 1. 17. You are able to uh, safely secure new wheels onto your machine. Awesome. Buffering it up and allowing it to be able to take on potholes, being able to take on uh, more difficult terrain without it having the chance of breaking down so easily. 
that is significantly better. Mm -hmm. And I thank the guard for their suggestion and everything they did to help. Uh, he gives you a nod. And, and you can see that he's got like a wet towel, he, like a wet cloth. He's starting to wipe, wipe down the scabbard you've given him. All right. Old and monsters. Just in time. Old monsters crud. Am I right? Yep. <laughs> Sweating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As I just like hide the gaping <laughs> hole in the armor where it went through that I had to patch up. <laughs> so glad to see Mixo back. So, how and did Todd. go? And Todd. And also Todd. So glad to see Mixo back. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> and Ghost Dad. Well, lad, um, things went. The news was delivered. Oh, I'm sure that uh, went over is about as best as it could. Then I couldn't bring them to tell, bring myself to tell them about my circumstances. To be honest, it's probably for the. They better. won't be up and waiting. I mean, how do you break such news all at once? A lot of things that I think. Some people can only handle so much at one time. Those are usually lesser people, but still, they're people. Yeah. Uh, I think we're ready to head out to Briggsenburg if we're good on your end. Not on my end. How about yours? I see you've retrofitted the wagon with some. Um, are those cheese graders? Looks like a donut. No, 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 no. Metal, metal spokes means oh. that the like the center of the room is made made of metal and not wood. Yeah, with like the spikes sticking off. No, 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 no right? spikes. No, no, no. Like, like the the oh. the spokes in the middle that. Like a bicycle's wheel. Yes. Like metal. Yes. Okay. That's what I was envisioning. I, I thought you were talking about, like, the, the spikes that come off of a chariot. The dinner catcher. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that I've called it. No, no. The dinner catcher. Those are some sweet cheese graters. He kind of looks at you and he goes, uh, yeah, anytime you, give, you get it really dirty, just uh, give it a gold spit shine. It'll be how long of a journey is it from here to the town that uh, was in between here and Briggsenburg? Oh, the the farm town? That's uh, maybe two hours? It's not so bad. Especially on a yeah. good old chariot like this one, as he bangs on the side of it. Yep. Just need to get you all the way to Briggsenburg. Perfect. Uh, how are we doing on actual, like, supplies as far as like for the, the horse and stuff do we have to worry about that or is it just grazing and it's good while grazing uh the horse has been pretty good you guys uh had a crate of supplies especially for it oh, at crap. One point. that's what we got horse food <laughs> uh he's I mean, he's able to go back to the uh supply and warehouse and bring you guys back like another uh small barrel of feed for the horse and like a small barrel of water to go along with it Thanks you guys for what you guys did at the uh, at the festival. And he goes like, "Listen, Casey's not gonna understand like what you guys did at the time, but many of us in the town are thankful. You saved a lot of our lives, and you saved the town from being overrun." For Brett, yeah. Just look at him and it's like, no. he doesn't know how to use that gun. He's only got three bullets in it. If you guys need to make a move, feel free to. Try your best. Yeah, so it, it it had more rounds in it, but he decided to try to try target practice on like a couple beer bottles. Did he hit his targets? Absolutely not. Well, then he, what's that say about how? Would you feel safer if we took the gun away? No, we we don't think he's much of a harm. He's not very good with it. 
We have a feeling he might shoot himself before he har harms anyone else. Okay, most likely. I mean, shooting yourself's not a crime, so... That's fine, I guess. I thought it was in some places. Not here. It only is if you're trying to kill yourself. I mean, if he's not exactly trying to kill himself, and shooting himself's not exactly a, a crime there. The law is kind of weird, I'm not even going to lie to you. Yeah, that's debatable, just the idea of... Why would it's, one want to shoot themselves if they weren't wanting to try... Never mind. It's, no. Nope, not even going to question it. do it on it purpose. It's all about intent. Yeah, listen, what is a... <laughs> he kind of looks over your robes and he's like, what does exactly five gold get me? Uh, five gold gets you about a good, uh, solid hour of, uh, ad space, sir. But you're going to be oh, no. leaving. Hey, man, the people outside of town will definitely be seeing your ad. You're going to be inside this caravan, though. No, he'll be putting it on when he gets out of the caravan. Look, you, you get an hour, okay? That's... <laughs> No, no, Todd, I, I get what he's getting at. In an hour, you'll be in the caravan the entire hour. We're literally taking a two-hour trip to the next town in just... an hour for five gold pieces. I mean, this gentleman probably... It's not exactly like when the start. I'm pretty sure Todd means that he'll put it on for the hour where it can be very well advertised, right? This yes. guy probably makes like 15 gold pieces a week, and you think he's going to... Like five gold pieces an hour? Good God, man. Look, fine. You know what? I'll cut you a deal an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah the, the trip is two hours long. Look, look, no, I'll, no, I'll do it no, after no. when when I when I'm in a crowd of people. Listen, and I'll uh, do it in for an hour and a half. What's your name, Guardsman? Dave. Can we call you? Dave? Can we call you Kevin, Dave? Can we call you Kevin? Uh, that's kind of weird. My name's Dave. Okay. Well, Dave, why would you want to call Kevin? <laughs> You'll get him. We, we, we knew a guy named Kevin. Don't worry about it. <laughs> well, Evan doesn't know that this is the case. Neither do they. Okay. Fuck, fuck yeah, neither do you guys. <laughs> Anthrax is sitting there like, oh, I know exactly what they're talking about. The people know. shouldn't know. <laughs> you you said it in your story. Anyways, Dave, will he'll put it on in a more open space where there's an actual place where it can be advertised. It won't be right off the bat like you pay him right now. It'll be when he gets to. Yeah, the the hour doesn't start when you put it in my when you put the money in my hands. The hour starts when uh, I'm actually within eyesight okay. of actual people. You know. Okay. Um. We could... Yeah, there's a lot of trust going on in there, and this is not something I have a lot of trust in. There, I mean, if I was there... this gentleman here, I wouldn't know that you're all... I, I would give you the five gold pieces and expect you to walk around town where I can physically see... I don't I don't really understand. Working. I don't understand the ad space idea anyways. I think, I think I'm going to pass on this one. Okay, look, how do he walks around an hour and a half around town to help with your business? And we'll do something else while we're here. We're not waiting an hour and a half for him to walk. We don't, we don't really have a business. I was just wondering what this is. Oh, so you're just wasting my time then. So no, you're, you have... you're wasting my time. No, you're, you're wasting, wasting my time. You're, you're wasting all of our time. You wasted this my time. Two gallons, this dude. doesn't even make sense. Why would somebody Look, buy ad? Why would somebody buy well, ad if space? If you don't have a business, then why? Are you... Look, we've been really honest with you. I gave you two javelins. He gave you a centaur for a fair trade. Like, I don't get it. Yeah. I'm friends now. Yeah. I just didn't know what ad space was. How am I supposed to know? What is ad well, short yeah, is for, it? may I ask? I'm just, I know what it means, but do you? Advertisement, sir. Oh, I sure, thought it meant... Wait, uh, I thought it meant... A, th thanks for uh, just blowing away it's like, like, my I'm sorry. You know I thought what? you asked me, not him. I'm oh, sorry. I thought it Look. meant addition. Addition? Yeah. I'm I'm not sure what I expected from a peasant ass peasant. Exactly. <laughs> Let, let's uh let's just head out. I, I appreciate let's... everything you've done. It yeah, definitely cool. looks much better. Very These helpful. metal spokes are gonna be 
is helpful. Yeah, the, he's wasted enough of our just, time. Just uh, didn't waste anything. You got the corn feed there for the horse. Uh, don't enjoy it. It's it's not made for human consumption. Please. Uh, I'm a frog though. He is a frog. Uh, mixed results. Just. What about uh, foxes? Uh, we came across a fox recently. What? Uh, I don't. Did you have to fight it? Was it after some kind of like where you guys uh, did you guys have well, something gun on you? blew up in its hand after it shot the a Lord gun several times oh like oh like the 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 fox that was in town with the bird what? yeah like that oh, oh yeah exactly yes like like that you know you know what is it about foxes and exploding weapons every fox i've come across has a weapon that explodes that's a good point yeah that's just been strange such poor craftsmanship Foxes just don't know how to use their weapons. I just uh, I'm like, can't use them. He puts his hands up in the air, like as if he has no clue. It's like I haven't had the chance to really sit down and talk to one, especially about their explosive weapons. I'm sorry. Well, how many foxes have you come across? The one in town. And how many weapons have exploded that a fox don't? One. There or it's a 100 percent ratio. I mean, we had the same experience when we're in the other town. Like that fox has exploded, so it's two for two. News to me. He's got to take our word on that. I mean, I I give him that. (laughs) Dave looks. uh, Dave looks like he needs to get back to work, and he's just like, "Well, thanks, guys. (laughs) I will uh, avoid the firearms that foxes carry." Thank you. Don't join the Viper Gang either. Didn't plan on it. Nope. Good. Good. It'll get you killed. Yes. Oh, yes. oh, God. Oh, yeah. Okay. I will also. Uh, maybe you should put that in your advertisement there, pal, and uh, walk away. <laughs> you don't know what an advertisement is, you peasant ass peasant. Well, it's not now addition. Any problem. Yeah, now I know. I've been educated. <laughs> <laughs> Call yourself as a kid. Fucking peasant ass peasant. <laughs> I mean, what qualifies for education around here? I mean, they did worship a picture, so... No, that was Numundric. All the crazies, you know, they tend to gather around in one spot. And they took all the medicine. Because, like, the one thing (laughs) I learned about people that believe crazy beliefs is they don't like other people that don't believe the same crazy beliefs they don't believe they believe in. So they stick together. They all cluster one another. Anyways, let's get this thing moving. Right. To, uh... What was the place we're I'm just going to call it Fucktown, because this is where I got stabbed. <laughs> yeah, that was really, really violent. Call it Fucktown? You know, yeah, where we're going now. Hey, Tom, can you put now leaving Fucktown go on your own for a yard? It's full of nonsense goblins and, and uh, one one particular hopeful household that's probably holding out from the bombardment. They're probably under siege. They might have been starving to guess. Who knows? They might have been eating each other because they don't have the ability to get out for food. Dang, do I always go to the darkest you idea? A lot. All dead, are you just concerned about your family? Yeah, all dead like looks at Evan saying all this and he's just like, Well if they had to do what they had to, I understand. Of course you do. See the kid gets it. He's a tough guy. You're a tough old guy. I'm six. Yeah, that's what I said. How old are I'm you, just... Gromit? What? How old are you, Gromit? I don't know. Do you guys even count years? I don't, it's, well, there's no sun in the sewer, so not really. <laughs> Fair. I mean, I, mean, I think it, as we get older, we change the color. That's more or less it. You don't think they'd like grungs here for living. I don't no, I wouldn't trust them with a mayor who swings around a gun. As you get a spot for my free phone. As you guys begin to pile back into the caravan here and head out to the east, you guys leave the town of Mundrick again, seeing that many more people have uh, begin to defend the small farm town. That it's got more people within it who are prepared and willing to um, defend the town and still. Uh, hold up its city walls. Do so you guys see that it goes off into the distance 
and you guys uh, begin to go through the plain lands here you see in the far distance after an hour the the small farm town coming up within the distance and i think at that moment is where we're going to end the session tonight i'd have okay. to be i have to be up really early but uh okay. yeah Does, uh, that little farm town have a name i don't think i ever gave it one you know what we're calling it fuck town now <laughs> no no wait wait peasant ass peasant Gr no grung P town part two <laughs> oh no why <laughs> because we're gonna we're gonna murder everybody who's not supposed to be there and send the grungs there oh huh yeah remember you, you use a lot of water then yeah but they've got crops the, the crops means there's water why can't it be like oh, <laughs> all dead's friends and family farm <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you also said that, like, pathway the what was it, that Dean and Todd went through, there's like a bog or something? Like, they could also probably live there and be much happier. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see how this place is like. I gotta wait for the glue to dry, but I have a fully painted Doomstalker. Ooh. Which one is that? Is that the... It's the well, it's the big it's the big quadruped thing from the Necrons that has the giant gun on top. Okay. You know of which I speak. Yep, yeah, because I got the other one from the Indominus box at the one.